today we are going to discuss about the topic of the broadcast media start with their introduction historically broadcast media has been a public service as with public radio which is funded by the government the term broadcast media covers a wide range of different communication methods that include the television radio podcast blogs advertising websites online streaming and digital journalism in simple words i am telling you that it involves electrically and simultaneously sending information containing signals print messages and audio or video content to a vast group of recipients using television radio newspapers magazines and digital media including the internet emails and text what is broadcast media basically broadcast media basically a distribution of audio or video content to a distressed audience via any electronic mass communication medium but typically one using the electronic magnetic spectrum in one to many model broadcasting began with am that is amplitude modulation radio which came into popular use around 1920 with the spread of vacuum tube radio transmitters and receivers before this all forms of electronic communication were one to one with the message intended for a signal received the term broadcasting evolved from its use as the agricultural method of sowing seeds in a field by casting them broadly about it was later adopted for describing the widespread distribution of information by printed materials or by telegraph it also transmit sounds or images electronically bounded by time included radio and television broadcast engages more senses than regarding and adds audio as well as motion for the television in this we have the sequencing of content in a broadcast is called a schedule as with all technological endeavors a number of the technical terms and slang have developed a list of these terms can be funded at least of broadcasting terms like a television and radio programs are distributed through radio broadcasting or a cable often both simultaneously by coding signals and having the cable converter box and decoding equipment in homes the latter also enables subscription based channels pay television and pay per view services in many terms broadcasting focuses on getting a message out and it is up to general public to do 
what they wish with it dharam also states that broadcasting is used to address an open ended distinction there are many forms of broadcasting but that all aim to distribute a signal that will reach the target audience basically broadcasters typically arrange the audiences into entire assemblies in terms of media broadcasting a radio show can gather a large number of following who tune in every day to specially listen to that specific desk jockey and he the disc jockey follows the script for his or her radio show and just talks into the microphones the message is broadcast across airwaves throughout the community but there the listeners can't always respond immediately especially since many radio shows are recorded prior to the actual air time now radio have two parts that the industry structure and second is the radio advertising in the radio structure we have am am broadcasting basically is the radio broadcasting using the amplitude modulation transmission it was the first method developed for making audio radio transmission and is still used the worldwide primarily for medium wave transmission but also on the long wave and short wave radio brands am transmission are much more susceptible to interference than fm or digital signals and often have a lower video fidelity thus the amplitude modulation broadcasters tend to specialize in spoken word format such as a talk radio all news and sports with music formats primarily to fm and digital stations next we have fm broadcasting fm broadcasting basically a frequency modulation is a method of radio broadcasting using frequency modulation invented in 1933 by american engineer edwin armstrong wide band fm is used the worldwide to provide a high fidelity sound over broadcast frequency modulation basically a that kind of broadcasting is capable of higher fidelity that is more accurate reproduction of the original program sound than other broadcasting technologies such as amplitude modulation broadcasting therefore frequency modulation is used for the most broadcasts of music or journal audio fm radio stations use the very high frequency range of radio frequencies you can wonder you are here it is we have some broadcast bands like the frequency of an fm broadcast station 
is usually a multiple of 100 in most of south korea and the americas the philippines and the caribbean only odd multiples are used some other countries follow this plan because of import of vehicles principally from the united states with radios that can only tune to these frequencies in some parts of the europe greenland and africa only even multiples are used in the uk or or even are used so next we have a public radio public radio basically a that kind of radio we also call a national public radio is an american privately and publicly funded non profit media organization based in washington dc national public radio is based in two location main headquarters in washington dc and west headquarters in culver city california national public radio differs from other non profit membership media organization such as ap in that it was established by an act of congress and most of its member stations are owned by government entities and it also serves as a national syndicator to a network or over 1000 public radio stations in the united states next we have a cable radio cable radio basically concept similar to that of cable television bringing radio broadcasting into homes and businesses via coaxial cable it is generally used for the same reason as cap cable tv was its early days when it was community antenna television in order to enhance the quality of ever the year radio signals that are difficult to receive in an area however cable only radio outlets also exist from the late 1970s to the late 1980s before the advent of mts stereo television broadcasters an additional cable decoder was offered to cable television subscribers which was connected to the frequency modulation antenna terminal of a radio receiver and broadcast audio simulcasts of television broadcast on certain frequencies but separately transmitted in frequency modulation stereo along with traditional local radio stations at their specific frequencies utilizing the cable systems own taller receiving antenna for maximum audio clarity next we have a satellite radio satellite radio basically is a one kind of technology also called international telecommunication union the satellite signals are broadcast nationwide across a much wider geographical area than terrestrial radio stations and the service is primarily intended for the occupation of motor vehicles 
it's available by subscriptions mostly commercial free and offers subscribers more stations and a wider variety of programming options than terrestrial radio satellite radio technology was inducted into the space foundation space technology hall of fame in 2002 satellite radio uses the 2.3 gigahertz in north america for nationwide digital radio broadcasting in the other parts of the world satellite radio uses the 1.4 gigahertz allocated for the dab next we have a web radio web radio basically internet radio also digital audio service transmitted via the internet broadcasting on the internet is usually referred as webcasting since it is not transmitted broadly through wireless means it can either be used as a stand alone device running through the internet or as a software running through a signal or single computer internet radio is generally used to communicate and easily spread messages through the form of talk it is distributed through a wireless communication networks connected to a switch packet network via a disclosed source now we have lpfm LPFM basically a low power frequency modulation is a class of non commercial frequency modulation station intended for non profit groups of create non commercial stations that are both inexpensive to build and operate because of their low power levels they serve limited geographical areas and are ideal for serving small and underserved communities in the radio advertising we have to rely on the listeners mind to fill in the visual elements delivers a high level of frequency radio commercials lend themselves to repetitions radio advertising is a form of marketing strategy that uses the radio both traditional stations and satellite and internet radio to promote a product or services it is a less expensive form of advertising in many cases especially compared to television advertising next we have a revenue categories revenue categories basically in this group of local affiliates connected to one or more national networks viable national medium for many products growth has contributed to increase in syndicated radio we have to chart shows 
entertainment programs live shows morning wake up shows music shows news and radio dramas firstly in this we have to promote how we can deliver our products with the help of these but in this way we can't do with the help of the networks because radio networks have a very very high groupism in this many people can indulge very easily and listening the music on the radio take some kinds of news and there are using around the world the one to many broadcast networks commonly used for public information and mass media entertainment and the two way radio type used more commonly for public safety and public services such as police fire taxi cabs and delivery services in the broadcast type of the radio network is a network system which distributed programming to manipulate multiple stations simultaneously or slightly delayed for the purpose of extending total coverage beyond the limits of a single broadcast signal next is the sport in the sport when an advertiser places an ad with an individual stations rather than at networks makes up nearly 80% of all radio advertising messages can be tailored for particular audience with the help of sports while illiterate people have to know about the products with the help of the radio commercials because many rural areas or in the urban areas also people nowadays many indulge for listening the radio at the night time especially and if their people have no time to watch the television they always very comfortable and feel better to listening the radio as well as their news any kind of information or any productive ads there because rather television radio and internet nowadays is a very good platform for visualize the advertisement of any product like sports makeup trending electronic and so on next we have the syndicates in the syndicate offers advertisers a variety of high quality specialized and usually original programs advertisers value syndicated programming because of the high level of audience loyalty next we have a radio audiences in the radio audiences many people nowadays varies by market 
but a typical it is that to be a listener to a specific station said individual should have been listening for a set period of time within a given quarter or segments radio audiences basically a social media networks now make it possible for radio audiences to comment on and even influence radio programming but this citizen participation and seemingly inocious interaction comes at a price it allows a large technological companies to collect lucrative data to our behaviors basically the network of friends fans of a radio program on facebook and constitutes its specific social capital while the fm or digital radio audience mired through traditional audience rating systems constitutes the economic capital to the station the social media audience represents its true social capital one that is very tangible and visible in this this a radio station's audience must be understood as the sum of its listeners and those who follow it on social networks while the first kind of audience still receives radio in a traditional way members of the second set are connected to each other and to the host within a network we have some stations fan stations fan of radio basically in the large segment a clear preferences for one or two stations radio fans stations fan basically that loves in the particular stations and they are very loyal to the stations they never split their channels from here and there because in their favorite station they love the rjs and they love their songs list also next we have a radio fans radio fans basically that who loves to listen the music and who always may listen to four or five stations per week show no preferences for one particular station they love the all stations like any other frequencies 92.7 104.8 fm or 93 point 93.2 wow. fm in the next music fans music fans basically that always in dutch in the music and not in the news purpose 
their information purpose they just love to listen the music in any other platforms or any other stations of the radio people who listen exclusively for the music being played next is the news fans news fans basically just love for the news of any other stations choose the stations based on a need for news and information and have no one or two favorite stations they love all the stations as well they just want to capture the captures and gather the news and they just have to gaining the knowledge that what happening in their surroundings next mayering the radio audiences how we can mayer the radio audiences particularly radio audiences in this they parts coverage and some people can survey that how people and through a weekly survey using a special diary drawn up by razar the official radio research body owned by the bbc and commercial stations they select the homes by port code so we can accurately measure more than 300 local and national stations basically in the measurement audience are seriously measure is the trading currency buying and selling commercial radio air times it also used by broadcaster for governance and to plan programming and editorial the radio audience basically varies by market but a typical is that to be a listener to a specific station said individual should have been listening for a set period of time within a given quarter hour segment this person is then said to be a listener throughout this segment which contributes to the overall listening levels for this station both in terms of weekly research and time spent listening in the day parts typically radio programming day is divided into five segments called day parts next is the coverage in this we can also a day after recalls listening diaries electronic measurement that all we have to coverage the number of homes in a geographic area that are able to pick up the stations clearly next is the rating the percentage of homes actually tuned into a particular station in next we have advantages and disadvantages of radio basically 
in the advantages of radio we have so many advantage like low cost flexibility vast coverage affordability wide reach and audience targeting timely message delivery high level of acceptance it is used to relay radio and television programs it is used to cover mass reach and selective reach of audiences it also helps in delivering radio advertising to the users and this will help in increasing the revenue for the advertising radio has a biggest example and advantage of permitting the teaching of subjects in which classroom teachers are untrained and lacking circuit knowledge sets another benefit for multi grade classroom use is that radio can provide instruction for one group of students whilst the teacher is occupied with another we have a target audience affordability frequency flexibility mental imagery high level of acceptance radio reaches a huge audience radio is targeted radio cuts through radio is anywhere anytime medium radio is the pulse of community radio offers promotional opportunities radio is influential radio reaches your target customers with frequency radio is flexible and immediate and radio provides a strong call to action we have a disadvantages of a radio among the disadvantages of radio a primary drawback is that people listening to it are often engaged in other activities such as driving therefore you don't normally get the same level of attention and engagement with your ad as you might through other medium radio signals are also susceptible to interference from atmospheric conditions and other broadcasts in additional it can be hard to receive a clear signal from certain location such as the areas shielded by mountains radio also can be impersonal and students listening for long to a voice from a box can lose interest quickly there are normally be no student feedback which is spontaneous although the use of listening groups and distance education course can help to overcome this advantage in this we have a listener in attentiveness 
lack of visual clutter scheduling and buying difficulties and lack of control next start with the television television basically sometimes shortened to tv or tele is telecommunication medium used to transmitting moving images is monochrome or in color and in two or three dimensions and sound the term can refer to a television set a television show or the medium of television transmission television is a mass medium for advertising entertainment news and sports television advertising is embedded in television program sometimes the ad becomes the programming prices have increased and wide audiences have become smaller most of the attention in media buying and in measuring effectiveness focuses on the performance of various shows and how they engage their audiences television signals were initially distributed only as terrestrial television using high powered radio frequency television transmitters to broadcast the signal to individual television receiver alternatively television signals are distributed by coaxial cable or optical fiber satellite systems and since the 2000s via the internet until the early 2000s these were transmitted as analog signals put a transitions to digital television was expected to be completed worldwide by the late 2010 as a standard television set consist of multiple internet electronic circuits what kind of structure of the television industry structure of tv industry basically we have a network televisions in the network television when two or more stations are able to broadcast the same program that originates from a single source networks originate programs and provide them to local affiliates next is the cable and subscriptions it provide the highly targeted special internet programming option cable is most familiar example of the subscription television satellite is another next we have a local television it also affiliated with the network carry network programming and their own programs independent stations most advertisers are local retailers next we have a public television 
in this many considers public television to be commercial free stations can air program sponsorship ads different in nature and researches reaches the affluent we have a programming options in this pay per view program syndicates with the help of off network syndicates and the first run syndicates we have a high definition television digital video recorder like time and shifting next is this television ads television ads basically also called a television commercial commercial adword tv adword or simply as ad is a span of television programming produced and paid for by an organization it conveyed a message promoting and aimed to market a product or service advertisers and markets may refer to television commercials and tvs basically in many countries including the united states television campaign advertisements are common place in a political campaign in other countries such as france political advertising on television is heavily restricted while some countries such as norway completely ban political ads the television market has grown to such an extent that it was estimated to reach 69.87 billion dollar for television ads spending in the united states for 2018 we also basically we use the topical video commercials image video commercials testimonial type commercial performance proof commercial comparison commercial and convincing commercial also the fact is this tv advertising displays greater success with key performance indicators than any media source according to recent data adults spend 13 times as many minutes watching video on television than through the internet and 23 times as much as on their mobile devices first is the sponsorship advertisers assumes total financial responsibilities for producing the program and providing the commercials advertisers can control the content and quality of the program and the placement and length of commercials next is the participations in the participations where advertisers pay for 10 15 20 30 or 60 seconds of commercial time during a program provides more flexibility in market 
कवरेज टारगेट ऑडियंसेस स्केड्यूलिंग एंड बजटिंग नेक्स्ट इज द स्पोर्ट अनाउंसमेंट सो इन द स्पोर्ट्स अनाउंसमेंट कमर्शियल्स दैट अपेयर इन द ब्रेक बिटवीन प्रोग्राम्स local affiliates sell these to advertisers who want to show their ads locally next we have a measuring the television audience measuring the television audience basically is the functional that television audience is the functional branch of the media research applied to quantify and qualifying this specific television audience information television audience measurement helps media campaign and brands make the right planning and programming decisions depends on their audience to look deep intelligence into viewing behavior can improve both returns or investment and brand reputations to provide a valid reliable television audience data marketers with specialized experts and required the system basically needs to be the result of many years of acquired proper experience research and development linked with the capacity to develop to change in television technology and research technology so when the television audience measurement is transparent each component of the system is understandable and accessible to qualified audience by the market in this we have a rating point the rating point the percentage of all households with television turned into a particular programs share of audience the percentage of viewers based on the number of sets tuned on we have the audio meters diaries people meters in this record what television shows are being watched the number of household watching and which family members are viewing now the advantages and disadvantages of the television advantages of television basically educational stay current get cultured crazy fandoms are fun feel the connection family bonding learn a language and mental health we have to see the television for entertainment learning new things for news of the world unity of family increase best time pass development of personality awareness and knowledge of different languages different culture awareness we also have for the encourage the disputes lack of meeting with families religious awareness expand the mind motivation increase health benefits good source of entertainment pervasiveness influence cost efficiency and very good impact 
rather we have some of the disadvantages so the negative effect on health wastage of time lack of meeting with families encourage the disputes addiction to cartoons the negative impact of a false advertisements and that's it in this we also use as free entertainment social surrogacy educational channels family bonding and television can make you lazy violence and illicit content consumerism and health hazards film and video first is the advert advantages of the film a great date night relieve stress provide love and bonding time provide encouragement increase awareness and social skills it also provides a portrait things as they are and helps in opening our eyes to issue we may have well that ignored in the past similarly it helps people socialized better it connects people and helps break the ice people often discuss cinema to start a conversation or more and disadvantage of film film cameras are usually heavier than similar size digital camera film storage takes up a lot of physical space purchasing a developing film in a counting post and the film must be developed before viewing so you can end up developing poor photos captures or images taken unintentionally basically movies profess violence movies are made for profit and just established for nations in this trailers and ads video and dvd distributors also placing ads before movies promotional video networks in stores offices truck stops universities etc advantages captive audience attention level is higher than for almost any other form of commercials and disadvantage a captive audience recent instructions of ads basically we have a product placement in the product placement we have to use for the ads for placement the products because product placement is a form of advertising in which branded goals and services are funded in a production that targets a large audience in exchange for product placement rights companies may pay a production company or studio in cash goods and services i'm giving you example that product placement is the act of putting a branded item or object into a movies 
as part of the movie but the movie gets paid to put the product it in when a company pays to have the verbal and visual brand exposure in a movie or tv program advantage is this demonstrates product usage in a natural setting by celebrities catches audience when resistance to ad is low and disadvantage is that may not be noticed not a match between product movie and audience using broadcast advertising in the context of the radio we have a local business highly targeted audience small budget timing personal message with human voice works in musical form or strong in mental imaginary similarly use television want wide wider mass audience good budget product needs both sight and sound prove something to get audience create a reinforced brand image and personality next in the movie basically national brand have budget to do high quality commercials movie audience matches brand targets audience substantial visual impact and quality production similarly use placement want to associate brand with stars and story viewing audience matches brand target audience natural fit between product and storyline and opportunity for brand or star so thank you so much i hope you clear about the all context of the broadcast media thank you so much